Hello, welcome back to Book and Gaming. Hi, I'm Travis. We're I'm Eric, and we're not gaming. No, we're doing. We're, we're not book ending either. We're, we're, what we're are doing, we doing? We're doing another Myers Briggs test. Oh, okay, it's, yeah. It's my turn to find out. I'm gonna see if I'm an extrovert now. <laughs> You've changed so much <laughs> in the last five minutes. <laughs> right. Yeah. No, it's your turn. Yes, it is my turn, and yeah. I, I have a, a sneaking suspicion that we're going to be the exact <laughs> same thing. This. We're going to go through all this. Well, we're going to find all, out. You're also yeah. going to get a whatever I was, an ISFP. Yeah, ISF, the adventurer slash artist. Yeah. Well, let's find out. Let's find out. Okay. We are using the same site, even though this one wants to charge you, but it gave us the information we needed to just look it up. Right. So we'll just do that again. That way we know it's the exact same test. Yes. I mean, I'm sure the questions are like the same kind of questions on all of them, but wait, is this is Oh. Oh. They're different questions. It is different. Oh, nice. <laughs> oh god. Okay, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I was like ready cuz I was like I, I every when you were answering I was like, okay, this is what it would be for this. Yeah. This is what now That's I That's kind of cool. I do like There's that. There's probably going to be some repeats, but Oh, I'm sure. All right. You are a practical practical I can't read. You are, you are a practical-minded <laughs> person. <laughs> Perfectionist. Uh, practical-minded person? Yeah, I guess. you perfectionist? Oh, perfectionist. Yeah. I did not read that correctly. <laughs> Fuck no. Yeah. Uh, I, you, no, <laughs> I don't give a shit. You're very rigid about the right way of doing things. No. These are all different. I mean, I'll follow instructions for things. But, like, if someone strays from that and finds their own way of doing it, I'm like, okay, cool. Right. Wow, that actually worked. <laughs> yeah. You're usually straightforward and direct about your opinions on things. I, that really depends. Yeah. It depends on, like, I'm not going to fucking call out random. I mean, I've done it in the past, though. Right. <laughs> direct about your opinions on things. I mean, kind of. I, would, I mean, straightforward and direct doesn't mean... I, I'm not I an asshole. Doesn't I feel like that doesn't mean like outwardly. Like if you if somebody says something that you think is stupid, you're gonna be straightforward and direct about it. Not, but not. I don't know. Not mean. I feel like that doesn't mean overbearing. I feel like that means if you have an opinion, you're straightforward and direct about it. Yeah, I mean, I'm not. I wouldn't <laughs> say I'm like wishy washy about shit. Like not not forcing other people <clears throat> to have your opinion, but you're straightforward and direct about your opinion. Yeah, I'm. I'm. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah. Steadfast in my personal opinion. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I'll just. That's fine. <laughs> you tend to see the world as morally black and white rather than shades of gray. There's at no. least fifty. No. No. Oh. Oh. Ha. <laughs> it's <was> like <laughs> questions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I'm dumb. You hold yourself to a higher standard than most others. Do I... I hold... I hold you myself... Hold yourself to... Yeah. Than the standards I hold others to, right? Yeah. Fuck yes. Hell yeah. I'm... You, okay. Very highly self-critical. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's not... It's not it's self-righteousness. Not, yeah, it's not the standard that other hold to Ooh. me. It's... Do I hold a standard? You hold your yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know how that's... I judge myself more harshly than I judge others. I feel okay. that's how I read that. And God, yes. You have a strong moral compass. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the stories I've told. <laughs> right. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm fucking awful, but let's... Uh, yeah. These are cool. I mean, these are, it's completely different. Yeah, it is. You have trouble accepting your flaws and thus can be highly critical of yourself. So they're, they're Hell okay. <laughs> yes. You perceive some... I bet it changes based on your previous answers, too. Just to get, like, a clearer picture of the questions it asked Maybe. you in the previous one. It's possible, because you can't go back. No. You perceive some emotions as negative and try to repress those. Mm. Oh, okay. I, I mean, yeah, I... I repress emotions until they all come exploding out of me in a gross, liquidy form. <laughs> Do you think there's bad emotions? I see. That's the thing. I don't think it. The, I don't think having emotions are a negative thing. But I feel like, like, oh, I'm a man. I can't be sad. That is kind of how I'm. Uh, yeah, but that's and that's not me. That's not my perception of it. But I am aware of that perception like, of it. Right. So there is a part of me that would try to repress that. Okay. 
that's how I yeah interpret that. Like you, you perceive some emotions as negative. Think, like I men don't, can't be they can't right. be outwardly sad. So I just repress all that yeah. into anger. <laughs> I, I'm yeah. I'm more thinking of it on like an in, internal level where like yeah, I'm I'm depressed about something, but I don't want to be outwardly well, depressed. Uh, yeah. So I repress yeah, that. That's a, I, I'm bad at qu- the, at these kind of things usually because it's it, like that. It's well, like, well, everything is subjective. That's it. Well, and I mean, that's kind of the point. That's why I'm like, I'm thinking, I'm thinking this. Yeah. I don't want to, I, I really want to avoid this as much as possible. I, I want to, unless I just have no fucking clue. Yeah. I don't want to well, do the middle. It de- that's another thing. Like neutral, does it mean neutral? Or I always look at these as a one to five. Yeah, see, it could be, but this could also just mean skip. You yeah, know? well, that's like dumb. no opinion. To me, it, mid I is, mean, it says neutral, it does so say neutral. it probably does take that into account. But I would think that that's a three. That's how I do these kind of things. Oh yeah, see, no, especially I'm, a strongly agree to strongly disagree. See me, it's zero, negative one, negative yeah. two, plus one, <laughs> plus two. That's that's how I see these. <laughs> I'm just gonna go with. I have to because <laughs> I I don't I want to avoid these, but it's like. I see your side of it though, because I don't see the emotions as negative. I have no issue right. with like emotion. It's just I don't <clears throat> want to always show emotion because I know that other people don't want to see that shit, or at least yeah. in my mind, I don't right. think other people want to see that shit. Uh, you are deeply afraid of being seen as immoral or unjust. Not really. Like I don't want people to think I'm a fucking vagrant or like a terrible right. person. But you also don't care what people think. But I've also, I mean, I've told some stories on this channel where like <laughs> I shouldn't tell people these things, but I just right. tell the internet. <laughs> like that's just out there forever now. Yeah. Because I don't care. What are they gonna do? I pissed in my pants. <laughs> Into my pants. I mean, that's not even a bad thing. But like, I told a story of me like driving drunk and things like that. It happens, right. you know. And some people might be like, "Oh, how yeah, dare you? you're a bad person." It's like, yeah, that was a really terrible thing <laughs> yeah. for me to do. I shouldn't have done that, and I am aware of that. But I'm not like, well, I don't fucking care. But, Fuck those people. Yeah. Uh, you believe that if you're highly critical of your flaws, others won't be. Ooh. Part of me believes that because I am my biggest critic, and a lot of my self deprecation because yeah. a lot of my humor is self-deprecating a lot right. of that is De- reflect def- def- deflective yeah it's it's def- it's a defensive mechanism it comes from you know being young and having low self esteem. i mean i still yeah. have low self-esteem but it's like if i have the worst opinion of myself then everyone else's opinion of me doesn't matter because it couldn't be as bad as my opinion of myself. <laughs> so it's almost like yeah. protecting myself by shitting on myself. Yeah, almost like a there's a little bit of truth to every lie type situation. Yeah, yeah. Like you, you joke about it and you're like, haha, but really you're kind of like, mm, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, and as bad as it is, it's not, I wouldn't say it's like fishing for compliments, but it's like there's a part of you that's like, you want people to someone be like, tell me to shut yeah. the fuck up. Please. Or like, no, it's not that bad. Yeah. Or, yeah. <laughs> And it's, I mean, I do, I fuck, I do it. She's going to watch these and be like, I fucking knew he knew. But it's like, I do it to my wife all the time where I like fucking make fun of myself and things like that. Yeah. And she'll be like, no, you're fucking awesome. Blah. You know, right. She like compliments well, me and things like that. And I'm like, I can't take compliments. But at the same time, I'm like, okay, good. She does still like me. Yeah. Like, it's just like a re- reaffirming that. Oh, okay. She, yeah. she doesn't like, think I that. never get any positive inf- affirmation. I love you. Yay. You're a pretty boy. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i get it it's like you yeah. want that it's yeah it's so if you're like i'm stupid then somebody will be like no you're not you're like yeah you think yeah and it's like it, and it's not like bare bones fishing for compliments it's not me just being like well i'm the ugliest duckling blah 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 which it kind of is but it's like it's almost like i'm gonna throw this out there and gauge their reaction and their reaction will tell me what they really think because they would never give me that information truthfully. Because if someone right. were to compliment me, it's not that I'm bad at taking compliments because I'm embarrassed. I'm bad at taking compliments because I don't fucking believe you. <laughs> You're right. Because <laughs> there's no way that someone has a positive... Nobody could possibly think no I'm one, a pretty boy. No one has a positive <laughs> thought about me. That's not a thing. <laughs> 
God. I'd like, I hope no psychiatrists are watching this. Right. You want to make the world a better place and don't mind personal sacrifices for the greater good. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I mean, it would be nice, but I know that I don't have the power to do that. And it's like, <laughs> oh, you could give to charity or you could, you know, do things to help your fellow man. And it's like, I just, I can't, I don't have the, I'm fucking poor and <laughs> yeah, I got, I got problems yeah. on my own. The world's a shit place. I hate it. You consider yourself a people pleaser. <laughs> Obviously. Um, yeah, I actually do. Yeah. I'll do everything in my power to make other people happy. <laughs> right after you said the world is a shit place. It is. <laughs> I, no, I know. I get it. <laughs> in general, I like, I like a person. I, ju- I just know that people suck. <laughs> yeah. You often put others' uh-huh. needs before your own. Hell yes. Yeah. I, I will <laughs> fucking cut my life into pieces. This is my last resort. <laughs> <laughs> you often see yourself as a caretaker of others or a host of some sort. Yes. Uh, while you are a selfless person, this can be to gain validation or proof of <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Fuck, it's got me pegged already. Damn. It knows me. It's like, I know who's going to take this test next. It's like doing that genie. What is that fucking genie that like you? It's plays 20 questions oh, with you? Uh, Akinator. It's that with like you get down to the end and it's like, fuck, it already knows. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're only at 15%. It already knows yeah, me. Yeah, me and my you, daughter love playing that game. <laughs> oh, it is fun. You know what the trick is for that? I mean, don't do this with your daughter, obviously. But... <laughs> If you ever want to like find a new porn, <laughs> yeah, you you tell it when it you keep saying no until it asks if you're a porn star. Okay, and then you say yes to the attributes you want in the porn star, and oh, then he'll okay. give you a name and go, and you look it up and be like, oh, that's the things I wanted. Okay, so I might if you need to that. find a new porn star, okay. go to Akinator. All right, I'm a genius. <laughs> See, I do make the world a better place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you tend to suppress your desires so that you seem low maintenance. I do that kind of, yeah. <laughs> you really enjoy hosting or partaking in group activities. <sighs> well, hosting and partaking. I like that. I very do like, different. I love I love game <laughs> nights. I love going out drinking, but I don't want to host. Right. That's Well, see, and that's the thing too. Group. There's a difference in a small group and a large group. Even yeah, like even if it was like I don't know, like, I, I don't do this anymore because I don't really have, like, a group of people that I hang out with. But, like, back, like, right out of high school and things like that, I would go out with, like, I don't know, like, five, six, seven people at a time and things like that. Yeah. And go out after work and stuff like that. And I liked doing that stuff. But I wouldn't, I, the hosting thing is throwing me off. Because, I mean, I that's the whole, like, middle. do I want to go out with, like, 20 coworkers? Hell no. I honestly would but like that because do, that means that's that's less less focus on you. Right, that's yeah, less I, I have to do. I can just be there. Right. But I don't know. For me it's like do I want to hang out with 20 coworkers? No. But would I would I be into having a D&D night with 4 to 6 people? Yes. Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. But 4 to 6 people you've never met before? Well, no. Or people that are even just like work acquaintances. Well, I mean it's if, like if one mm, person is a friend and then sure. Yeah, I guess, because then you just get used to people. Yeah. But yeah, it's pretty easy to get all along strangers. With. No. <laughs> a stranger is just a friend you haven't befriended uh, wh- yet. Or whatever. Whatever yet. that is. You had sex with yet? Shut the fuck up, <laughs> Disney. <laughs> yeah. You often sugarcoat things to use, or use white lies to spare people from being hurt. Yeah. You tend to be seen as the parent friend in a group of friends. Yeah, mommy. Nope. No. I'm not. I mean, I'm no. not. Like, I, I have. I don't know. I, I feel like I, I can corral like a group of drunk pre- people pretty easily, but I've never been like nights. I mean, I'm just relating this to drinking. I'm not an alcoholic. <laughs> I swear. I actually haven't drank drink in like 10 years probably, yeah. <laughs> but uh, no, nah, it's probably only been like six, four or five, six. Um, but I was never like, oh, I'll take care of everybody. I mean, I right. could, but it was no. I never felt like that was my responsibility. Like, no, you want to have fun too, right? You are in your element when you're with your loved ones. Yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah. I feel like that's most people. <laughs> yeah, you are out of your element when you're with your loved ones. I hate being I with hate, my loved ones. I hate my loved ones. <laughs> Why are they your loved ones? Then? Yeah. At times, you can be seen as clingy or overbearing. <laughs> Hell yes, I am the clingiest <laughs> motherfucker alive. 
You are drawn to volunteering and community <laughs> service? Nope. <laughs> Sorry. You are often base your worth on academic or professional success. Not really. Right. I, I feel like I'm more... I feel like I base my worth more on it, like... Emotion and, yeah. like... I'm the, yeah, that's what, like, I was talking about work. people, I yeah. I fucking... I'm never going to be like, I am a manager at... Who right. gives a shit yeah, like, I what would, your status I mean, is? A professional success <laughs> would be nice, but I'm not going to, like... I don't think I'm a better person for it. <laughs> right. You have often been told that you tend to overwork yourself or are a workaholic. I mean, I've... I've been told that I overwork myself... But workaholics a bit much. I just yeah. do this. Well. Could be a neutral. <laughs> yeah, I'm up to neutral that one. You often repress your emotions to put forth a confident image. I'm going to say no just because I do repress, but I have never put forth a confident <laughs> image in my life. Yeah, right. I don't think my shoulders have ever not been slumped. <laughs> right. <laughs> Spend a lot of time. My back is destroyed. I repress my emotions and I'm sad. Yeah, all them emotions <laughs> repressed have weighed my shoulders down. Yeah. You spend a lot of time ac- ac- accumulating accolades and achievements, Ooh. even in fields that you don't have a lot of interest in. No. That's some nice alliteration. Right? That's what threw me off. <laughs> you often doubt your intrinsic self worth and seek external validation through achievements. Achievements? Xbox. Not. <laughs> achievements, not really. That's how I value my work. Yeah. My gamer score. <laughs> I do I do seek external validation, but not through my own achievements. Right. I just want shit handed to me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> People who may not know you well can get the impression that you have a perfect life. Fuck no. <laughs> no one has ever thought that about me. You can easily put forth a charming first impression. <sighs> I feel like charming is not the right word. I'm good at faking being a person. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know, like you know that stupid bullshit that people do when they're like they do those conversations that like nobody got anything out of this conversation it's like how's it going blah, blah, blah. like right i work around a lot of people yeah like a lot of my job is walking around like a factory floor and stuff like that right and so like i'm constantly like stopping around people and they just stop and chat to me because they all work on assembly lines yeah and they see the same people every day so i'm different (laughs) so they'll just like to talk to me and i'm good at faking that like i don't enjoy a second of it but i I wouldn't call that charming it's just i i know how to bullshit people i know how to talk okay like i I, i'm not i'm not lying i really don't yeah i I know how to (laughs) fake being a a functional member of society yeah okay you are deeply afraid of failure and of being seen as incompetent. Nah. Well, maybe I should be. No, I don't. Yeah, because I don't want to fail. <laughs> right. But I also, <laughs> I don't care if I'm seen as incompetent. Saying all the way down means like, yeah, I don't know, I'll fucking fail all the time. Yeah. I don't give a shit. I am perfectly fine with being seen as incompetent. Like, half of, half, more than half of my, like, comedy is, <laughs> look how incompetent I am. <laughs> I mean, we had a mutual friend who legitimately thought I was, like, the dumbest person alive. And, like, (laughs) I was, I am actually, like, I'm, I excelled in, you know, academics and things like that. But he, he was very convinced that I was just really stupid. That's why he's not doing the channel. Well, because that's, because that's just my comedy is like, (laughs) look how dumb I am when I'm not, you know, but that's, you know, when you see it on a surface level, you're like, what an idiot. (laughs) As a child, you were told that bringing home accolades would garner you love and praise. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I mean, that's that's not... If my parents are watching this, I don't think that was pushed on me. It wasn't them going... It wasn't like, do this or we won't love you type of situation. But it was definitely like, as a kid, especially with school, it was like, oh, if I get straight A's and I make honor roll... Mm-hmm. my parents are fucking psyched and that mean that's that's good that's that's yeah. great so like when i didn't do well i spiraled it was right. bad see and my my mom that was one of the she actually did not care yeah how i did in school which is weird because you'd feel like eventually i did get i would honestly say my senior year i didn't try worth a shit i didn't really either but at that point you're just like 
especially since we were already like ahead in a lot of lessons. Like I didn't have to take like half of my senior year. I, yeah. I just like stopped going to classes because right. I didn't need the credits. And that's, uh, yeah, I don't know. I tried in school, but that's probably because I liked school because I didn't like being at home. That's, that was my thing. Like it was, it all, it started because I excelled when I was younger because I was hyper-focused on it and it was, that was my job. It was like, oh, I need to do well because that's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. And then I'd see all these other kids who just like got C's uh-huh. and it's like, C's are fine. That's average. Right. Fine. Yeah. But I saw that as like, if I ever got like a C, I would, I would have <laughs> fucking killed myself. Like <laughs> yeah. that was like, that's like the worst thing I could have ever right. done. But yeah, like I, my mom didn't care. Yeah. I would get C's. And well, and that's the thing, like, that, okay. that's and that's why I wanted to kind of <laughs> say that because it wasn't, I don't, it wasn't my parents like pushing Tell that on me. Yeah, they weren't being like, if you get a C, blah blah blah. Because but I you mean, believed it. it, you believed yeah. that, so that's how it, I, it yeah. was an internal thing. Like I can't let myself do this. Yeah, because I mean, well, plus you had brothers. Well, yeah, like, and yeah, my older brother did fine, and like yeah, he excelled. My younger brother, he didn't give a shit. He's yeah. he's smart. He you know he he just didn't give a shit. Yeah, he didn't turn stuff in. He got C's. He passed. He was fine. Right. And I was like mostly a single child. My brother is eleven years younger than me, so like yeah, so that when I was like in a, high school, it wasn't. I was, it, there was no comparison. He was yeah. a toddler. <laughs> yeah, see, yeah, my I'm my older brother's three years older than me, and my yeah. younger brother's a year and a half. So it was always yeah. But yeah, it would like I I keep wanting to justify this because I don't want people to think that my parents were like, oh my god, they're pushed <laughs> yeah, this on him and beat, forced him to do this. With a ruler. No, it was never that. I never got like punished for that kind of thing. Yeah, but it was like if I procrastinated or I didn't get something done in time or I got like yeah. a less than stellar grade on something, I I was genuinely upset with myself. Right. <laughs> you are often unsure of what you want and feel. Uh, no. <laughs> want maybe but not feel now you put aside your desires to chase after what others consider to be success i mean no not okay i don't care about success but i also i have put aside well, desires yeah i mean it's got success in quotes so that's however you interpret it yeah what you Which, think what, is well successful. it's what other what i think others consider to be success well, um, yeah okay so like i put my desires aside to have a dead-end job that i want to succeed at okay no i don't yeah. okay. i don't give a shit about that right but at the same time i'm also not doing something i desire to do right i just it's it's <laughs> it's two both sides of the yeah you choose an outfit based more on how it represents you rather than its pure aesthetic of peel no i don't really <laughs> i don't have a i don't have a vibe <laughs> right <laughs> you are fond of interest there you go with that. You were fond of interests that encourage self-expression. Yeah. I mean, I'm fond of them. I'm not good at them, but I'm fond of them. <laughs> I mean, we do this channel. This, yeah. I mean, I fucking, I, I, I mean, I don't talk about this much, but I fucking love poetry. I love music. I love art. Yeah. Quite so self-aware and think figuring out your self-identity is very important. I don't. I, I did not expect these to all be different. I yeah, thought there'd it, be some it definitely, sprinkled in. Yeah, no, it definitely, like, it's following the path of my answers. And I feel like I'm say, taking I, a really long time to do these. I feel like I like these questions more. They're making me think more. Yeah. You're quite self-aware and think figuring out your self-identity is very important. I'm, I, I, I mean, I I'm pretty self-aware. I'm, I'm definitely <laughs> self-aware. I just, I don't think it's important. It's, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, it's. I gotta stop, like, stop doing this, but yeah. I, I am aware, like, I care about what other people, people think of me, but at the same time, I'm also, like, weirdly arrogant, like, I hate myself, but I'm also better than everybody else. You don't I, care what other people think, but you're also not, but I'm not, that doesn't mean, I, yeah, exactly, I'm not gonna <laughs> just, like, completely give up. Because I care about what I... Th- I care about the image that I project. Yeah. But if p- someone doesn't <laughs> like it, then it doesn't bother <laughs> Yeah. Me. Like, you've put out the best y- you feel as possible, and if somebody yeah, doesn't... Yeah, I mean, look can, at me. I don't have a lot to work if, with here. <laughs> if somebody doesn't like it, who cares? The fact you, that you, I... You, the fact that people don't run screaming from me 
<laughs> is it means I've got to be busting yeah. my ass to do something right. <laughs> you perceive yourself as being different from others, not necessarily better or worse, but different. No. Okay. I, I, I would like to think that, like, oh, I'm so intellectually different and I'm special cool and everyone, everyone's special and there's millions uh, of people that are yes. just like me. You yearn to connect with others but feel as though they can't understand you. No. You find your melancholic. I'm trying to. I'm just going to talk a lot. This is just going to become the Travis show, which I guess yours is going to be double the length of I'm mine. I'm sorry. I, I, <laughs> I fucking. I love psychology. Yeah. Like, I love this stuff. I went. When I went to college, I. My major was psychology. Yeah. I mean, I didn't do anything with. I didn't even. I did one semester. I do, I do a lot of. Yeah. Like, I, why are you doing this stuff? Yeah. Or, yeah. I just, I like <laughs> watching people and just being like, I know the kind of person this is. I'm very good at reading people. Mm-hmm. You find your melancholic moods to be oddly comforting. Yeah. Kind of. Yeah. Comfort and despair. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's where <laughs> I, it's where I'm but, most comfortable. Yeah. You hold authenticity in a high regard and hate conforming to trends. No. No. That's that's <laughs> like the that's like fucking goth kids in high school who are like we're fucking sheep. I don't care about that. <laughs> you have a strong sense of internal values and emotions. Values not so much, but yeah, strong sense of my emotions. <laughs> Hell yeah. You believe that delving into your sadness can inspire you to create original works. I poetry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've I wrote tried. a lot of good stuff when I was sad. Same. I'm still sad, but. I mean, I've got some fucking MySpace or yeah, yeah, uh, Deviant Art journal posts that fucking blow your mind. <laughs> I have actually like tried to write, yeah, like write for real, and I just I don't have the follow through. Is the issue? You can at times be self victimizing. <laughs> well, self victimizing. Well, okay. yeah, yeah. Like woe is me, and yeah. the world is against me, and yeah. yeah. I mean, everybody gets that way. I feel. You feel like you're missing something that everyone else has, but cannot identify what it is. A functional penis. No, <laughs> no it says you cannot identify what it oh, is. Oh, right, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, have you seen it? It'd be hard to identify. <clears throat> I, I have not. you got to have a pretty high-powered microscope. <laughs> you have a deep desire to understand the world. <laughs> no. No. <laughs> not even. That's, that's no. a red for me. Yeah, I don't give a shit. That's for other people smarter than me to figure out. You firmly believe that knowledge holds a lot of power. Knowledge is power. Yeah, it does. G.I. Joe told me that. Your loved ones often tell you that you seem lost in thought and in your head. Oof. God, yes. Yeah. You are critical of traditional and conventional beliefs. I would, <laughs> I, yeah, I wouldn't say, like, not critical in, like, a negative sense. I'm not like, this fuck, it's stupid. <laughs> yeah. But I am very, <laughs> like, you're so sure. How are you so sure? Like, yeah. Like, it's it's very foreign to me. You're deeply attracted to the potential... Wait, to the potential Ooh. the unknown and the unexplored may hold. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. You're deeply attracted to the unknown and the unexplored may hold. Not really. I'm not an adventurous kind of person. That's a weird question. Because, I mean... I mean, it's it's kind of... it's int- The idea of it is interesting, but I wouldn't like, say I'm deeply attracted deep, to well, it. Well, that's true. But, like, space and... Deep under o- the ocean, yeah, or just you know the working world, the workings of the mind, or you know stuff universe, like that. It's, yeah, it's interesting, but it's not like I'm like, oh, I have to know. Because I mean, yeah. not knowing is important. Not knowing is half the battle. Exactly, <laughs> <laughs> that's the other half. <laughs> someone, someone who may not know you well could perceive you to be stoic or detached. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or I just, I have resting asshole face, so <laughs> yeah. I, I seem really standoff. You are halfway done. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, actually, we're that's pretty close. Are we? Mine was an hour. Okay, I just, I feel bad, but I uh, this stuff, like I said, this stuff really interests yeah, me. Yeah, no, it's fine. I hope it is interesting to people, because oh. who the fuck am I and why do they care, but I care. This is, this is for our fans to get to know us. I know, but a lot of this, I'm worried I'm going to click it and my wife's going to see it and be like, what's this? Why didn't yeah. you tell me about this? <laughs> what did you mean by this? Well, I didn't tell you about this because look three seconds from now when I click that I don't share things. <laughs> You're often intrigued by complex <laughs> systems and ideas. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, like, 
not string theory, I guess string theory, stuff like that, like quantum mechanics and things yeah. like that. You deeply value your independence both in day-to-day life as well as your professional setting. Yeah, I need my alone time. Right. You are usually unaware of your physical condition and tend to neglect what your body needs. Yes. <laughs> I'm aware that I am like a broken, unhealthy piece of shit, but I'm like one of those cars that has like everything wrong with it, but somehow that makes it all work. <laughs> okay. So it's like, it's so it's. That's a unique analogy. Yeah. So like you have a car that is like a shitty old beater car, and it's like you know something's wrong with it. But the second you take it to a shop to get one thing fixed, yeah, everything right. else is going to go wrong. So yeah. I can't, I can't, I have to just let this go. I got to ride it out and hope it. I get to the end <laughs> and fucking live at least like three more years. You're often attracted to abstract <laughs> concepts and ideas rather than practical knowledge. Yeah. Yeah. Like psych- psychology, uh, not psychology, mm. the other thing, philosophy, yeah. stuff like that. <clears throat> You can be overwhelmed by the emotional needs of others and even your own at times. Yes. That's two different questions, too, really. Yeah. <laughs> you tend to project an You outward. can be an empath and hate yourself. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, I'm I'm very, yeah. I'm, I'm an emotional being. Too much. To a fault. <laughs> yeah. Like, same. if I was looking at the questions you got where it's like, <clears throat> if you see someone cry or you see someone laugh. Yeah. That stuff. Like, I'm very much a mimic. Right. Like, I cannot help myself. I will, like, I'll I'll copy people's mannerisms on accident. Right. Shit. I can't help it. Maybe I'm a sociopath. <laughs> oh, God. I've thought, <laughs> have you ever thought, like, man, I'm, like, two steps away from being a supervillain? Yeah, it's just, <laughs> like, like, I mean, sociopath doesn't necessarily <laughs> denote a bad thing, but it's just, like, am I just faking <laughs> was... this? Am I just, like, faking... This stuff? <laughs> oh, man. That was oh. like when we were talking to Junko, and I'm like, I might need help. Yeah. I'm related to a I'm lot of stuff to the, Yeah, saying. exactly. <laughs> oh, no. The ultimate despair. I'm having like an existential... I might need help. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like an existential crisis. Oh, you can go back. Uh, you tend to project an outward, independent, and, vo- and vulnerable image so that people don't hurt you. Uh, well... To an extent. Yeah. It's just a defense mechanism. You don't want people to hurt you. (laughs) Right. Like, I don't let people know that they've bothered me when they bother me. Okay, yeah. You hold loyalty in a high regard because you can have trust issues. Yeah. 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 (laughs) You start overthinking about negative possibilities at the first hint of trouble. Oh, God, yes. (laughs) Yeah. Not to to a crippling degree. I do. Oh, anxiety. Yeah. I can ignore it or forget that it's a thing. Because I have also have a terrible memory. <laughs> you hold a lot of appreciation for ride or die friends. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, what does that mean? Like, but I don't expect that of people. Like, like people go who big are like, or go home. Yeah, like no matter what, like no matter what I did. Well, okay. you would be, you would be, then yeah, you know, right. And I mean, I appreciate you, but also, if I murdered someone, I wouldn't expect <laughs> yeah. you to be like, "Don't you kinda gotta help like, me bury the body?" Yeah. Like, I feel like you would, but kind of like your ex, like when you split up, and it was like, "Well, I'm gonna side with 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 Travis," right? Even like, though you were like friends with her for yeah more recently, like we had a study hall together, so like we were like friends ish. Well, I mean, I'm I'm talking about like more recently, like it was like before I moved back, you. And her, were, like, she was coming to, like, your bowling matches yeah, and stuff Yeah, that's like what that. I'm talking about. Oh, okay. And then, like, you split up, and it was like, well, I'm going to continue being friends with, with Travis <laughs> right? over you. Yeah. <laughs> well, I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Even though I, like, moved away, and we didn't have a lot of contact in those years. <laughs> you deeply desire a sense of social security. No, not really. <clears throat> you have trouble being independent and often need someone to rely on. I do. I that's do. a hard one because I like. I do like being independent, but after a while, I'm just like that one for me is a. I I'm a codependent. <laughs> yeah, I also like. I, I have to have someone around. I around. like the idea. Like when I've been single in yeah. the past. I mean, this is just relation. This doesn't only have to do with relationships, but just as an example, like when I'm single, I'm like, oh, this is great and all that, but I quickly get into relationships yeah. every time I, I am i absolutely hate being single yeah 
It's all it's one and, of those like grass is greener things. I mean, not so much anymore. Calm down, wife. <laughs> but it's like you think about like, oh man, the single life. I I really missed out on the, yeah. the you know being a single blah blah blah. I was I born too early. I didn't get to use Tinder and blah blah this and that. But then at the same time, when you are singing, you're just like, I just want somebody. Yeah. <laughs> like, I like, get it. Like, it's just, sucks. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's, not even just relationships. Like, I I hate, like, when my daughter's not with me. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, obviously this is, she's not with me now, but we're together and we're doing this stuff. Right. You're not, like, alone. And But it's like, tomorrow, before I get her for the day, it's like, well, this is boring and stupid right but i also just busy myself with youtube stuff and yeah you you, you don't you don't spiral you're right. not like i'm fucking miserable every second of every day if i'm not around <clears throat> another person yeah yeah but, i yeah, I, I, I do also... like i do like being independent but at the same time i i need yeah i i need other people yep <laughs> uh avoid many may avoid risks yeah i don't i don't take risks <laughs> Even though you want to believe people are worthy of your trust, you can't help but be skeptical. <laughs> yep. Uh-huh. You like being very prepared and can make extensive plans for an event. Oof. I, <laughs> I mean, I'm not. I do like being prepared, but I don't actively like make an itinerary. Yeah, I was like, man, it would be nice if I was prepared for this. If only someone could have done that. <laughs> 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 you often doubt your place in others' lives. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's self-esteem <laughs> yeah. issues. You can be very suspicious of new people you meet. No, not uh, suspicious. It depends. New where, people. Where are you? New people are have... Are you a, in an alley? Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. <laughs> How many eye patches are you wearing? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can be very spontaneous. However, this can sometimes lead to impulsivity. Impulsivity? impulsivity? <laughs> no. I'm, I'm boring as fuck. Is it fuck. impulsivity? I thought it was impulsiveness. Impulsivity. No, All yeah, right. impulsivity, yeah. Is impulsiveness not a word? I don't think so. Okay. You think you're thinking of repulsiveness. <laughs> <laughs> Temporary repulsiveness. Life to you is an adventure to be experienced. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> you get bored easily and always need something to do. Yeah. I'm cool with doing nothing, but also I would prefer to be doing something. You have an infectious childlike zest for life. <laughs> no. <laughs> I am a man child, but I do not have a zest for life. I'm not a mental well, sad. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Just zest for life instantly. I'm like, no. Right. I'm not like yeah, life, life you, is cool. But not about life. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's not childlike wonderment. It's just right. I'm, like, I'm, yay, world. Yeah, I'm childlike in that I'm immature. <laughs> you have a wide range of interests. Well there we go. That's a that's a duplicate. I wouldn't say strongly. I have a few interests. Yeah. But I'm not like, I wouldn't say it's a whole, they're all in the same kind of wheelhouse. <laughs> you downplay or repress your negative emotions instead of processing them to create positive ones. Oh man, that's some really internal thinking. <laughs> you downplay or repress your negative emotions instead of processing them to create positive Process your negative emotions to create positive ones. That's something that people can do. <laughs> how the fuck people are some people are born with fucking cheat codes i swear to god right? <laughs> you downplay or repress your negative emotions instead of processing them yeah i get yeah yeah you have trouble seeing a project through <laughs> fuck yes yeah i'm really bad about that well it depends if it's a project like that someone else needs done or something that i'm doing for someone else yeah i, w- I will do it if it's something that I'm like, this is something I want to do. I will lose interest (laughs) and I won't do it because I'm like, well, the only person who cares is me. So (laughs) I'll just, and I don't care if I quit. So I'm going to quit. Right. But meanwhile, uh, we've had a channel going for five years. Yeah, because it's, so it's, that's for you, bud. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, that's it's for all of well, you. That's, that's how I justify it. It's, it. it's like, yeah, it's like we have a fan base and it's also, it's my excuse to come hang out with you. Right. Not that I need an excuse to come hang out with you, but it's also <laughs> like, but I, we would probably play games online if exactly. we didn't have this channel. <laughs> I I can't use the excuse of being like, yeah, I just don't feel like going out. It's like, no, I need to go record, and then I come out here and record, and I have a fucking blast. Right. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's definitely like I have to I have to make it to where it's like I'm doing this for this reason. Otherwise, I won't finish it. Right. I prefer novelty over familiarity. 
No. You often worry that you are missing out on a good time. I, I mean, know. always. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm sure I am, but... Worry, I, though? I don't worry about yeah. it. Yeah, I just, I've accepted it. You, you have a lot of energy and are always on the go. No. <laughs> I mean, I had energy, but... No. Damn, no. this next question is... You're running from your internal sadness <laughs> and fears Christ. and believe that you'll find happiness in external adventures. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm not, you know. I don't, I mean, I, I suppress. This is like... Yeah. I feel like you got off easy. I feel like yours are deeper. Yeah, this is making me out to be some kind of freak. I got I, I should, should we not upload this? <laughs> 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 no, I don't care. I'll fucking I'll cut my arms open. <laughs> Not literally, you know what I mean. <laughs> like, you know, show everybody warts and all. Uh-huh. You're running from your internal sadness and fears and believe that you'll find happiness. Yeah, see, I, this is the part that gives me disagree. I don't think I'm running from them. I you, just I bask in it. Yeah, I just <laughs> I live in it. I swim around in the muck. You are determined. You are a determined individual and fiercely advocate for what you believe in or want. No. You tend to want to accumulate power or influence so as to not to seem vulnerable. I need more power! Not externally. I would like to be pulling the strings behind the scenes, like some kind of puppet master situation. But okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's no. I mean, yes, but no. No, I don't want to. I don't care about power or influence. You consider yourself a headstrong person, though this can often come off as being stubborn. I don't know. I'm pretty flexible, I feel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I mean, nah. Am I? Am, am I? I need you to tell me. <laughs> <laughs> I I can be, I can be headstrong. I, I can be stubborn about some things and argumentative, but like, I'm not like unflinching. Right. I'm not like, no, you're wrong. And here's why. It's, yeah. I, I respect other people's. Right. You know, you often find yourself exerting control over your environment. Is this like a masturbation thing? Are you T-posing for dominance? <laughs> <laughs> no. I don't know. One time I peed on a tree. You're very goal-oriented and competent. No. You're quite direct and blunt. I like this question. <laughs> you're right? Uh, I'm worried, like... Like, I don't think I am, but if I say I that... that is it in a negative light. Yeah. Well, I mean, not always. You oh, could just—you could just, know, just be no nonsense. I argued the other way on that last question. <laughs> yeah, Quite. direct and yeah, direct would, and blunt doesn't mean asshole. I can be direct, but I don't think like I—I'm good at sugarcoating. I'm not gonna—I'm not like right. But blunt usually means negative. Yeah, well, it's like like no nonsense. Like here's here's what it is. Here's yeah. the here's the facts, chief. And this, but I'm right. not like that. I know how to. <laughs> Ease my. Yeah, I, mean, I know how whatever. to ease into someone's <laughs> asshole. You know, <laughs> You're not afraid to fiercely speak up for your loved ones or other weaker individuals who have trouble defending themselves. No, I mean, I, I've never had. To, I've never put myself in this situation. Like, I guess I. I don't know. It's not. I mean, like if your kids were getting bullied at school. That's see that's so, so circumstantial because it's like I'm not afraid to do it. I just feel like there's better ways to go yeah, about would it. You'd be like, hey, stop being an ass to my kid, or right. I wouldn't like go after so someone I would say, and be like, oh fuck yourself. Well, okay, but I also wouldn't just be like, oh, I guess that's but just how the world I feel, is. I feel like red is like meek as opposed to green. You would you would stand up for the people you love. I just yeah. kind of what I'm yeah. But at the same time, or like there's, a, there's a, a limit. Weak animal it's... that's being picked. Or, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. I, I'm gonna have to wipe okay. that one. <laughs> it's just that's too circumstantial because it really just depends. Like, what's the severity of it? Yeah, that's true. Fiercely if like someone speak is, up. if I see someone like yelling in my child's face, then yeah, fuck yeah, right. I'm gonna on instinct alone, I'm gonna do something. Right. That's why I feel like probably green rather than red would be like you would. You know, all right, let's get out of here. Yeah, just, <laughs> yeah, just take it. And it's like, no, it's like if if my son came home from school and was like, a teacher was mean to me today. Yeah. I wouldn't immediately go, all right, let me go fucking scream at this teacher's yeah. face. I'd be like, what happened? What it? Why? What happened? Right. What, <laughs> what are both sides of this? 
Yeah. I'm not going to instantly like, <laughs> oh, well, because, you know, fuck it. I mean, he could have just had a bad day and maybe he did something he shouldn't have done. <laughs> right. You are often viewed as a person suitable for leadership and authority. No. <laughs> I mean, maybe, but I that's not for me to say. Other people find you intimidating. I, f- I highly doubt it. I, feel, I do look like an asshole from afar, I feel afar, like people though. think I am, and it's probably just because I don't talk much. Yeah, you are you don't seem approachable. That's, yeah, that's, I I feel like the same way. Like I said, I have rest, resting asshole face. Right. But I don't think people are like, oh, he's Because I've never really thought that before. Like, intimidating? It's like, like, really the right word, but I guess it is. Because it's like, I people just, are, like, intimidated be, to talk to you, because, like, or, I mean, me. Yeah. Because it's like, I'm not openly like hey let's be friends i guess <laughs> i don't know yeah intimidated just doesn't seem like the right word Almost right like standoffish <laughs> yeah. is like better you don't mind taking the lead and directing others on a group endeavor i mean i'm okay with it but you might have been called bossy and i hope not but maybe <laughs> i mean at work there are there are times when like you know i know better <laughs> like <laughs> i've been there longer yeah. i know they ask me a question and i'm gonna tell them how to All do right. it you know? well that's not bossy I wouldn't That's think. Helpful. Yeah, right. But I can't, you know, I can, I don't, I don't mean to, but yeah. there's a chance I come off as condescending. Yeah. I mean. You have a very calming demeanor. <laughs> I, do I calm? Um, Does yeah. my presence calm? I mean. Just this, probably? Yeah. Because it's not like I'm like a Buddhist monk by any means. I'm not like <laughs> chilling. I don't show up and everyone's like, yeah, let's chill. Right. <clears throat> You care a lot about group harmony and thus often find yourself trying to solve conflicts. Yeah. I, 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 I like playing mediator. Yeah. Uh, we're getting to the end here. Here we go. Okay. Mm-hmm. You are afraid of feeling anger and see it as negative emotions, so you can instead be quite passive aggressive. Man, there, there's a lot of Fuck these for yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Where it's like. it's. I'm pretty sure it's got me pinned down as some piece of shit, but let's find out. Negative emotions to repress or turn into positive yeah. or. It's going to be like, you. nobody wants to be around you. You suck. <laughs> All your internal thoughts are true, and everybody hates you. Kill yourself today. <laughs> it's like, you don't, even have, you don't even have to pay for this advice. Jeez. You find it easy to match other people's energies and can be a bit of a social chameleon. Yes. And it's not even like, I'm good. Like, I just... I'm a mimic. I, yeah. I can't help it. If All someone's right. like high energy, I can be and high that energy. That one's a red for me. So that's why that one we barely yeah, differently. See, I, I can't. That rolls well, into the, I'm good at faking I being. I mean, like, I'm good. I can be a person. Right. Like if we went out and did karaoke or something. Yeah. I feel like I would probably open up and be okay with doing it. But yeah. I, I don't know. What is that? As far as chameleon and like blending in like oh i like that too you can get along with any group of people well i can't i don't like straight up lie to people but i can get along like if oh okay like the people i work with are into like i've got one person i work with that likes video games and stuff like that like i do but most of them are like i like dirt bikes and things like but i can still talk to them about that stuff okay i would i wouldn't say probably i wouldn't say one but i would say two the, the red one Oh yeah, this yeah that would be yours. Yeah, <laughs> no, I, I I feel like I'm pretty good at that. I've no, I don't. I'm sure they're out there because they're out there for everybody. But I've never got the feeling that someone didn't like me, except right. for myself. Yeah, like I I don't. I feel like I've never had like an enemy or someone that I'm like, <laughs> why does this person right. not like me? But yeah, no, I would say red for me because it's like if you're talking about something that I, I'm just like. I don't know or care about. I'm like, Ugh. it's hard for you but to if, actually engage. If somebody were to talk to me about video games or football, I'd be like, yeah, but yeah. that's my, in- that's not a chameleon. Well, that's, that's, well, and that's, that's just <laughs> it because I can do that. Cause I don't give a shit about dirt bikes or guns or things like yeah. that. But someone talks to me about that. I can feign interest to the point where they will keep talking about it. Cause I know what they want to hear. Right. I know they're only telling me this. Yeah, they're not, not trying to get my input. They want to tell me a certain thing. They have an agenda, and I know how to get them to that point. I'm not good at uh, extending conversations. Yeah, no. See, uh, I'm just like, I'm, I'm, yeah. And then the I conversation ends. Right. I don't want to. Ex- <laughs> I don't want to extend the conversation, but I know how to if I know that they want to. I, what it boils down to is I'm really good at manipulating people. Okay. <laughs> 
Oh my god. That sounds great. I'm sorry. I am sorry, <laughs> wife. With, with the with the puppet master. I thing. don't do it to you. <laughs> I, I do it to you a little. I do it to everybody a little. <laughs> you often feel numb and depersonalized. No. I wouldn't say strongly disagree, <laughs> but I mean there are times when I'm just like whatever. I'm yeah. here. You tend to go with the flow and use the phrase, I'm fine with anything a lot. Yep. <laughs> Because, you know, when I say that I don't care what restaurant we go to, I actually don't care. Right. It's not, oh, I don't care, and then someone suggests something, and I go, no. That never happens. I hate those people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't hate those people. But that is annoying. It's like, if you don't care, then, you're, uh, then you right. don't get to complain when something else is chosen. You are uncomfortable with frequent changes and prefer routine. I do prefer routine, but I don't mind changes. I can right. I can go with the flow. All right, one more page. Uh-huh. I'm sorry this is taking so long, everyone. You lack a strong sense of identity and assertiveness. Yeah, I'm not assertive. You have a quiet, passive strength to you. Strength? <laughs> I mean, I am I'm quiet and passive. I'll give it mm. that. Rather than repressing or feeling your emotions, you tend to just numb out. Wait, no, because I do repress... But repress or f- well, repressing okay. or so it's one or the other. Yeah, I don't. Fuck that! I do that's, ignore them, so I feel yeah. like that's repressing, though, isn't it? <sighs> Ignoring is a form of repressing, right? I just. I mean, do you, do you feel emotions or do you? Just well, yeah, I do. Numb? I I mean, I definitely feel emotions, I feel like, but I can also. I feel like that's almost like a nothingness question. Yeah, because I I can I know that I I feel emotions, and it's not like I'm like I don't get to a point where I'm just like I don't I'm nothing yeah. I whatever. But at the so same time, I, I can ignore it. Red, I think then because it's like, are you happy and sad, or are you nothing? Rather than just repressing, you tend to just so numb like if you say you're green, then you're numb. Yeah, that's true. I don't. I yeah. can't feel you there. <laughs> You deeply value intrinsic peace and harmony. I, Doesn't everyone? I Yeah. You would, except for Junko. I want chaos? No, I don't yeah. want chaos. I revel in discord and chaos. I don't know. Peace and harmony, though. I just, like, that seems so... Well, I don't think that's... that means conformity. No, it or... just it just seems so hippie-ish. Like, well, okay. Yeah. I don't give a sh- it I don't it's not like it bothers me if things are chaotic. Uh, well, okay. Let's, let's go with that. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, please God. Here we go. I'm actually nervous to show this. I hope it, watch it, it still be the same thing it's as yours. Be the same. There's no way, right? With the questions I was getting, there's no way we have <sighs> yeah, the same. Those were completely different questions. Uh. Oh no, it doesn't actually give Oh, no. Oh, fuck. There's perhaps no other personality type that is as irreplaceable in the lives of others as yours. Comes to give you good, 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 you know, it's safe to say you're the constant support. It doesn't have a title. Right, we got to figure this out. Hang okay. on. Okay. Should we pause the episode? Yes, pause the episode. Okay. We're going to figure this out. Psychopath. <laughs> what? <laughs> just, on the second one, known as sociopaths and psychopaths. I don't think Oh, that's... God. <laughs> no, because it's... Yeah. All right, so we're back. We ran what this said against other things, and we yeah. figured out what I am. Yes, you are. Because all the other ones didn't make sense at all compared to this. What was so. I? You were adventurer. I mean, the letters. Oh, it's on. It, go back a page, oh. and well, it's, I don't want to get rid. It of was it. like I F something. Okay, you are I S F J. I don't know what that means. <laughs> oh, it's the fir- It's in the first paragraph. Yeah, I'm having him read this to Defender. me. Defender. Like what is it? Who is a defender? ISFJ. I'm Captain America. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. Someone. Oh, yeah. Okay. Introverted, observant, feeling, and judging. Oh God. <laughs> those are judging. Those are what? Yeah. Self judging. They tend to be warm and unassuming in their own steady way. They're efficient and responsible, giving careful attention to practical details in their daily lives. Okay. Uh, in their unassuming under. Dated way defenders help make the world go round. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> Hardworking and devoted people with this personality type feel a deep sense of responsibility to those around them. 
Defenders yeah. can be counted on to meet deadlines, remember birthdays and special occasions, uphold traditions, and shower their loved ones with gestures and in care of care and support. I mean, yeah, except my memory shit. <laughs> So, yeah, if I could remember, then yeah. But rarely demand recognition for all that they do, preferring yes. instead to operate behind the scenes, like a puppet master. Like a puppet master! <laughs> Thank you! Okay, yes, this is it, then. We're right, it's this. This is a capable can-do personality type with a wealth of versatile gifts. Though sensitive and caring, defenders also have excellent ant- analytical abilities and an eye for detail. Despite their reserve, they tend to have well-developed people skills and robust social relationships. Defenders are truly more... Yeah, that's what I was talking about with the <laughs> being able to bullshit yeah. my way into getting along with people. More than the sum of their parts and their varied strengths shine in, in even the most ordinary aspect of their daily lives. Um, most distinctive trait is loyalty. Uh, rare is the defender who allows a friendship or relationship to fade away from lack of effort. Instead, it invest. has happened, but it's, <laughs> I mean, it's more so for, you know, mental health reasons type of situation. Yeah, right. Uh, a great deal of energy into maintaining strong connections with their loved ones, not just by sending uh, how are you doing texts. People with this personality type are known for dropping everything and lending a hand whenever a friend or family member is going through a hard time. Uh, for defenders, good enough is rarely good enough. People with this personality type can be meticulous to the point of perfectionism. I mean, it only... It's just, I, like I said, I'm just my own worst critic. That's I don't hold people to right. that standard. Uh, they take their responsibilities personally, consistently going above and beyond doing everything they can to exceed others' expectations. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, as much as I can without you know <laughs> right destroying myself let's look at the strengths and weaknesses and see if you agree because that's kind of what that's yeah I, that's, I was like, that's right, the yeah, bullet that's... points thing yeah because that is almost like a the first the introduction thing is almost like a broad I th- it's almost right. like astrology I where it's, it's like the, yeah that could apply to anyone though it's like it's the hyphens together because it's like how it had the you can be a isfja or a t oh yeah where it's aggressive or yeah or whatever one. i don't remember what it was uh, okay. Uh, strengths. Supportive. Uh, defenders truly enjoy helping others and happily share their knowledge, attention, and expertise with anyone who needs it. Yeah. People with this personality type strive for win-win situations. Yes. Choosing teamwork over competition. So that goes into the whole wouldn't go scream at somebody. I'd be like, well, <laughs> yeah. what happened? A What's... win-win situation. Yeah, yeah. mediating. Yeah. Rather than working in sporadic... Uh, reliable. Rather than working in sporadic, excited bursts. Uh, that leave things half finished. Defenders are meticulous and careful. Take a steady approach, ensuring that things are done to the highest standard and going well beyond what is required. Yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> That's if I could get my ass. I, like, I'm thinking about like Walmart. There was always like I always had way too much shit to do, yeah. and I would get done quicker than other people. And my prize for that wasn't oh he's such a good worker it was yeah. oh well now you can go help the uh-huh. slow people and do their work for them and not get paid more yeah well, that's retail yeah <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> uh observant defender personalities have a talent for noticing things particularly about people hmm. they pay attention to the smallest details of what someone says and does giving them unexpected insights into other people's lives and emotions wow this is i'm kind of free like i'm i'm like I don't know. Like I'm, I, I feel exposed. I don't like it. <laughs> like I'm, I'm a little freaking out over here. In, you're enthusiastic. When the goal is right, defenders apply all their gifts to something that they believe will make a real positive difference in people's lives. Whether it's fighting poverty with a global initiative or simply making a customer's day. That's yeah. See, mine, <laughs> mine is definitely on a more personal. Not level. the global initiative. Like, no, I'm, I'm definitely not a. I'm gonna help everybody, yeah. but I will. You're, do you know, what I can. If I can make one person's day brighter. Yeah, I'll, you know, I'll yeah. cut my arm off to make someone feel better. Yeah. There's no delusions of grandeur that you can change the world. Yeah, exactly. I mean, I'm, people can change the world, but... <laughs> yeah, but I do... Yeah, I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm, a, I'm a realist, You're you right. know? I know how the world works. Yeah. Uh, hardworking. Uh, don't just get their work done. They take pride in it. 
Um, I mean, <laughs> depends on what it is. Yeah. Personality type often form an emotional attachment to the project or and organizations they've dedicated themselves to. This, yes. My job now. <laughs> right. That's Because ex- I don't yeah. take my job home with me. That's it's probably kind of... Like, because I know it's nothing, but this yeah. I actually care about. That's like similar to what mine was. Where yeah. It was like, yeah, this... I, I hate being at work, but I come here, and even though it's technically working more into the channel, right? It's I enjoy and it's, it, and I take pride the the and part pride. of the part yes. of my job <laughs> that I my actual job job that I take pride in is that I go and you know bust my ass and do it, yeah, consistently to provide for my family. Right. You know, that that's that's yeah. the I don't get pride in like, oh I'm I did so great for my boss today. Yeah. I don't care about that. I don't take but pride in my work either. I'm I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah. Like, that's that's what I I look at my bank account and go, There, I made money so I can yes, afford rent I am, electricity. I am doing what is expected of me yeah. in this capital hellscape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um uh, good practical skills. Um uh, the rare combination of altruistic nature and hard one hard hard one practicality. Oh. Defenders don't just hope to help others, they take action, meaning that they're, they're more than happy to roll up their sleeves and do what's necessary to care for their friends, family, and anyone who else who needs it. Are you ready to hear your weaknesses? Can <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I'm emotionally <laughs> yeah. sound enough well, to this hear one's my weaknesses. A, this one's like a positive negative. Oh. Overly great. humble. Defenders are so concerned with other people's feelings that they may refuse to make their thoughts known or to take any duly earned credit for their contributions. They yeah. often downplay their efforts entirely when they think that they could have done any sort of minor aspect or of a task better. Yeah, I mean, I just, well, that's got to be the judgment part of it. It's like, because I don't see it as going above and beyond. That's just like... That's like the bare minimum that anyone <laughs> should be doing, you right. know? Yeah, sorry. But it's like, uh, yeah, I mean, I get that. Like, you think back, like, oh, if I had done this different, yeah, this could have yeah. been better, or, yeah. I could have done that better. Like, it turned out okay, but it's not, you know. Right. It's, yeah, a lot of it goes into just the self, like, oh, I'm not good enough. Like, what I was talking about with school and all that, like, I held myself to this standard of, like, you can't get B's and C's, you know, you're, 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 that's not a thing. Yeah. So when other people did it, I was like, what the fuck are you doing? All right. <laughs> uh, taking things personally. Although they might try to hide it, people with this personality type are deeply sensitive to others' opinions and can be thrown off balance if someone doesn't appreciate, approve of, or agree with them. Why don't you have to fucking call me out like that, <laughs> bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Whether When they encounter criticism or disagreement... Defenders may feel as if they're experiencing a personal attack. Yeah, well, and that's why I do the defense mechanism of like, yeah, I know, I I hate myself, I'm a piece of shit. So, Nothing you can say is worse than what it, I've said about myself. It, like, weakens the blow, if I guess, if... Yeah, if yeah. I already <laughs> think those things about myself, then it's not like a shock of like, oh my god, how they, I can't believe they think that about me. It's like, well, yeah, duh, <laughs> I think that about me. Um, repressing their feelings, private and reserved... Uh, internalize their feelings, particularly negative ones. Yep. This can create misunderstandings in their relationships. Fuck yeah. (laughs) Eventually, all their repressed feelings and resentments may boil over into a sudden uncharacteristic outburst of frustration during Tom and Jerry. God damn it. (laughs) Yeah, my I I really hope that my wife doesn't watch this when I'm in the room with her. Yeah, because there are so many times she's she's gonna like pause it there and just be like see like see i told you yeah yeah she's like quit fucking doing it because she's called me out on it before she's like stop not saying anything until it boils over yeah because it's happened a few times (laughs) we're learning things about ourselves i don't like it over over committed Mm -hmm. uh defender's dutifulness (laughs) Mm-hmm. Can create situations where they are overwhelmed but unwilling to relax their standards or ask for help. Uh, as a result, the personality may suffer silently, trying to do everything themselves, even when it's impossible. Yeah. Reluctant to change. Breaking tradition isn't easy. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm I'm open to it. I do have ways of doing things that I'm, you know. Yeah. I'm set in my ways. I'm an old person. 
Yeah, may okay. You may wait until a situation reaches a breaking point before altering course. All yeah. too altruistic. Defenders are giving generous nature can leave them vulnerable to being taken advantage of by others. Like at work and Walmart. <laughs> and yeah, yeah, everything. Yeah. I've, I'm the same way. It's like, yeah, I'm, yeah, I hate work, but like I still work hard and then I take on too many responsibilities and don't get paid right. For and it. then you see other people are, you know, getting, you know, they're earning the same thing as you. Yeah. They're getting the same amount of recognition mm-hmm. as you and they're doing half the work yeah. you're doing. And you're just like, and why am I trying right. so hard? But you can't stop. Yeah. And now anymore at work. It'll be like, do you want to do this responsibility? I'll be like, do I get a raise? Because yeah, I've been I've, through so much. I have much. gotten to that point, too, where yeah. it's like, I'm not, I'm done training people for uh-huh. you. I don't get paid for that. Like, Yeah. Uh, it can be hard for people with this personality type to rock the boat and stand up to someone who isn't pulling their own weight. Yeah. Are you, do, do you want me to do the romantic relationships? I mean, yeah, I, I went into it with you a okay. little bit. I didn't do the whole thing. <laughs> I just, I kind of like hit oh, bullet points. Time remaining, negative one. I know. It's, <laughs> and then there's this. Is this an I or is that an upside down? I don't ex- know. It's like falling apart on us here. Romantic relationships. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah. Bring out a side of this personality type that may not be obvious at first glance. Beneath their mild, unassuming exteriors. Defenders thrum with passionate commitment and loyalty toward the people they love. At times, defenders themselves may be surprised by the inter- their, the intensity of their feelings, especially their fierce desire to protect and care for their partner. Emotions run deep, so deep that people with this personality type may struggle to find the words to express just how much their partner means to them. But defenders show their affection in a million little ways <laughs> on a daily basis. Shit. Always <laughs> eager to make their loved ones' lives better and more pleasant. Defenders can transform even the most prosaic of tasks i don't know p-r-o-s-a-i-c prosaic of tasks prosaic pro i don't know prosaic Pro- uh, from Pros- cooking dinner to organizing a week and trip yeah okay yeah uh although generally proactive can do personality type uh, struggle to take initiative when it comes to dating asking mm. s- someone <laughs> out can be incredibly uncomfortable well, yeah. Isn't that the truth for everyone? <laughs> Defenders who tend to worry about not only rejection, but also violating unspoken social rules. The bad news is that defenders can end up feeling trapped, wanting to embark on a relationship, but waiting for another person to make the first move. I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, defenders are, in a word, committed. People with this personality type find great fulfillment in sharing their time, energy, and affection with another person. And partners yeah. tend to be incredibly generous and supportive. They don't take relationships lightly, don't give up easily, even when challenges inevitably arise. Uh, soundness of heart. It's almost like... I don't know, this is almost like... It's weird. Like it's you reading this to me is almost like it's like a compliment, but it's like an underhanded compliment. It's like you're so nice that you suck, <laughs> you yeah. know. Where it's like you're too nice. Like it's like you're nice, but to your detriment. It's like that's well, a, that's a bad thing. It's uh, yeah. It's like yeah, it's being I'm, an I'm empath. A, yeah, it's like I'm a I'm you, a doormat you, or something. You give out so much of yourself and don't focus on I mean, that's what an empath yeah, is that yeah. you focus on yourself but yeah it's it's weird though hearing this stuff because like a lot of this does apply to you too yeah because i'm <laughs> you're reading this and i'm like you're the same way yeah i didn't get some of those questions you're yeah mine went really like yeah why some would, of those were like damn that who makes the me fuck think did i hurt at the personality lab where they're just like <laughs> he's here fucking get him um Pragmatic approach to life shields the incredibly strong feelings that lie within their hearts. No surprise then that it can take the personalities of a, a relatively long time to recover from the heartache of a breakup or particularly painful disagreement. Um, can feel deeply hurt in relationships when they believe someone isn't offering enough love, commitment, and appreciation in return. Mm. Um, may find it difficult to break off a relationship. 
even when things aren't working out. Hang on to hang on. People with this personality type may hang on to do due to misplaced loyalty, general fear of change. Hope they can somehow figure out change for the better. I can fix them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Tend to avoid conflict, clear and firm opinions and preferences on all kinds of subjects. If they feel their partner isn't respecting their wishes, all of their repressed frustration and disappointment may boil over in a form of negativity, resentment. That's the worst one. That's the worst shit. Like that. Or heels dug in stubbornness. Like that's that boil over shit. That's the second time it's mentioned that. And I'm just like, fuck, that cuts deep. (laughs) Yeah. Like that's that's some shit that has happened multiple times. (laughs) Right. Where it's like it happens, and I'm like, where the fuck did that come from? Yeah. And it's because, and I'm aware that I right, do Right, and you're like, what was that? that yeah, was, that's I'm aware me. that I'm that I'm the <laughs> cause of that, but I can't fucking help it. Okay, friendships? I gotta get a therapist. <laughs> oh, I definitely need one. <laughs> um, let's see, people gravitate towards them as friends. People with this personality type value and cherish their friendships. Don't find it easy to bond with just anyone. Only beams. Yeah. Only, only adventurer only types. Beams. <laughs> Defenders and adventurers. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'll be your tank. Assemble. I'm tanking your DPS. That's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm also DTF. Um, if anything, I'm, I tend to stick to support classes like healer. Yeah. Does that say something about me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I feel like when we did adventure games together, though, you were you were the tank. I would I do tank. The, yeah, yeah, you would do like spells and stuff, and you were the damage. Right, but you were more like, yeah, paladin. Yeah, like yeah. I, I I love healing spells. Uh, tend to be private, a bit protective of themselves. It can take them a while to feel comfortable enough to open up to someone new. Uh, this explains why most defenders' the friendships don't start as random encounters on a wild night out, but rather through comfortable and consistent contact, for example, school or work. Yeah, or, you know, have being forced to sit together in a gym class that isn't our gym class. Right. So it's like, yeah, you're new. Yeah. Let's hang out. You like video games and... Can I call you Beam? Okay. Sure. <laughs> Better than everybody else calling you fucking Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, d- appreciate the opportunity to deepen their connection with another person over time, with the two friends gradually sharing more and more of themselves with each other. Getting along, natural desire. When do we hit that wall where it's too much? <laughs> is this it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is where this is where it ends. Have I made you uncomfortable? Uh, deep down, many defenders long to be liked and accepted. Natural desire. Yeah. And it helps explain why people with this personality type are known for being such thoughtful, reliable friends. Yeah, because they're fucking doormats. Because defenders care about what other people think of them, so they strive to be bring their best selves to all of their relationships. Jeez. Okay. I think that the only, the last thing was just like the conclusion, I believe. Oh, you didn't... What are some other people, like examples of people? That was on the introduction, bottom of it. Captain America, Captain America. Yeah, sorry, Captain I'm looking America. at like the conclusion. Oh, yeah, right. it's it's the first part, the, the general overview thing. I think at the bottom of that page shows like... <laughs> Defenders, along the way, may have muttered to themselves, Wow, this is so accurate, it's a little creepy. <laughs> Or even ask, how do they know more about me than the people I'm closest to? Cut it out. <laughs> Fucking. If you feel understood right now, it's because you are. <laughs> it's so funny, too, because there's a there's a part of my brain, and this is just my own hangups. There's a part of my brain that's sitting here going, man, this is so accurate. I really faked that really well. And it's like, I can't, like, I'm like, am I just full of shit? Am I bullshitting? Oh, man, your people are badass. Are they? <laughs> You got you, know, you had you had uh, well, I, you had the bride from Kill Bill. Okay, you got Beyonce. Oh, sweet Queen Elizabeth II, uh, Aretha nah. Franklin. Oh, awesome. Vin Diesel. Okay, not Halle awesome. Berry. All right, Kate Middleton. I don't know who that is. Oh, uh, Royal. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, Anne Hathaway. All right. Uh, Selena Gomez, Caitlin Stark. So if I ever Samwise Gamgee. Oh, the fuck ultimate yeah. friend. <laughs> I am your Samwise. That's the most accurate shit I've ever seen. Watson, Dr. Watson, Captain America. I'm a sidekick. Wilt, I mean, you brought Wilt me Turner, on. So. Pam Beasley. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, I mean, that's... 
Vito Corleone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's Ugh. it's pretty accurate. But yeah, there's a part of me that's like, am I am I full of shit? Like, did, was I not accurate <laughs> in my guess? But I mean, it it fits in my mind. It fits. Yeah, but I mean, you answer but them, then but this is going to be honestly. one of those videos that. Jordan comments on, and he's like, "You're full of shit. None of those things were <laughs> yeah. true. I'm taking this for you. Like, I don't, you know. If you feel understood right now, it's because you are. Blah blah blah. I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, you. This is it. Yeah. Adventurer and defender. You know, how do they know? More? I feel like mine was more the artist one, though. It yeah, was, it was art. Yeah. yeah, so artist. And I defender. feel like artist was because adventurer is the dash uh, a the aggressive version yeah. of that personality type. Where yours is, I don't remember what the T was. Right, because I was like, this sounds close, but more sad. <laughs> like right. if you throw in more sadness, then it's yeah, correct. Assertive versus turbulent. That's yeah, there you go. So yeah, I'm turbulent. I'm definitely Not aggressive. <laughs> I'm definitely <laughs> definitely turbulent. Yeah. <laughs> Defenders and courage. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, eighty-seven percent of turbulent defenders say they usually blame themselves first when something goes wrong. So yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Tur- we're both turbulent. Yeah. So it's almost like alpha beta. Like okay, that we're that, both beta males. Minds it pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I mean that <laughs> minds. I don't know. Yeah. I mean that's that alpha beta shit is like fucking yeah, yeah. roided out shit. But you know what I mean. We're we're not assertive. We, no. We give people our ice cream cones. <laughs> yeah. You can have it. You can have it. Hey, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my favorite SpongeBob scene. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm deflecting because I don't want to think about this anymore. I'm going to go cry now. <laughs> Let's play some video games. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like afraid to upload this. <laughs> <laughs>